Friends, I'm back with another machine on the Van Hub. You know, I like Van Hub platform very, very much because it's totally free source resource. Before we go ahead, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You are greatly appreciated. I've already I already downloaded this image onto my local machine. And then I imported this machine into the virtual box and started both. Of course, I configure the its network adapter as host only. All right, so I think I have already got the environment ready, and then we can go inside the Kali Linux VM. The first thing we need to do is to discover the IP address of the target. We can use sudo and net discover. As you can see, the net discover has already helped us to identify the IP address of a target as 252. Then we need to do the port scanning with a map. Of course, to save time, I've already done the MMAP scanning. The IP address has been changed a bit. As you can see, I used the options like a scene scan, the version scan, the default script scan, and I used the option of the dash p dash to do the comprehensive scan. This case, this option is very, very important. Otherwise, the MMAP cannot discover this unusual port number. So from the map scanning results, we can tell that the two open ports on the target. The first one is 80, which is running HTTP surface, and also the version information, which is Apache 2. The next one is 7744, which is running SSH surface or secure shell surface, and its version information. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. So what we are going to do next is to do the emulation with the web application running on the port number 80, both manually and automatically. Let's launch our browser first to do the manual emulation first. We can put the IP address of the target into the address bar of the browser. Press enter. As you can see, there is error. We are having trouble finding that site. And we cannot connect to the server at this one. It means that we need to append this host name into the host file. This will be very easy. We can use the echo and followed by the IP address of the target and the domain name or host name and can tunnel to the T with the option of A, which means append, append this line to the host file. Okay, we can get out this file to confirm. We have already done it properly. Okay, now if we go back to the browser, refresh this page. As you can see, we got the page from the all the content from the server. And we can scroll up, sorry, scroll down. It's so obvious that this target is running WordPress application. And besides that, we can yeah, quickly walk through this site. What we do, our people, our products, and finally, flag. Yeah, there are very important message left for us by the author. Your UU word list probably wouldn't work. So instead, maybe you just need to queue. I think I have already demonstrated this utility earlier in the other videos. Yeah, we can use this utility to create our own or custom word list. More passwords is always better but sometimes you just cannot win them all, 
log in as one to see the next flag. If you cannot find it, log in as another user. All right. Next, we need to check the source code of this page. However, nothing interesting at all from the source code. Next, we can use before we try to, yeah, create the word list. We need to do the emulation with the web application. Like、uh, we need to check whether this site has robots file. Robots not found. Next, we can use Nikto. You know, Nikto is very important too for the web application emulation. As you can see, yeah, it can review information about the verse information, the header information. Even sometimes can emulate out some common files or directories. So we just wait for this to be completed. Again, from the Nikto, we can confirm our our earlier discovery. This site is running WordPress application. Or installation is WordPress. Next, we can use GoBuster to do the emulation, directory emulation. And the word list, as always, I'd like to use GoBuster to do the directory emulation. And the PHP back. Let's press enter. Although GoBuster is being discovered some files or directories, however, all of them belong to the default installations of the WordPress. So I think we cannot find anything more. I mean, in terms of the functions, besides the default installations of the WordPress, to save time, I'd like to quit from the. Go buster directory emulation. So what can we do next? We need to do the WordPress specific WordPress emulation. And the two I'd like to use is WordPress again. Yeah, we can use the URL option to specify the target URL, and followed followed by the option of E and the P U. U means the user name. And P stands for plugins. Let's press enter. All right, the WordPress scan utility has identified three users. So maybe we can create the user dictionary. And next, we need to crack the password for these three users. First of all, we can Jerry Tom. We can users txt. The first one, maybe for the first one is admin Jerry and Tom. Let's write and quit. Normally, we will use the lock queue as our word list to crack. However, as instructed by the author. In the in the home page flag section, we cannot. In this case, we cannot use the UU word list or lock queue. We need to create our own word list by Q command. So I can use Q. Yeah, I'd like to auto complete this command. Yeah, it's done. And then we can use WC to count. How many words has been have been created? Yeah, about two hundred and forty words in total. So next we can use the WS WordPress scan and specify the URL and and the user name. The users and. The password dictionary should be dict. Let's press enter to see whether we can retrieve the passwords for these three users.
Yeah, we got、uh, two valid combinations of username and password. Next, we can log in to the WordPress portal or the or the WordPress panel with this username and the password. We can maybe we can note down these two lines onto our notebook. Next, we can log in to the WordPress panel. Should be a domain, and the username is Jerry, and the password is this one. Log in, it works. However, from the left section, if you're familiar with the WordPress. This user, I mean the Jerry, is not administrator, and however we can navigate to posts to find something interesting. Nothing, and、uh, yeah, flag two. So if you cannot exploit the WordPress and take a shortcut, there is another way. All right, so we can pages. This one. The flag two. No need. All right. So I think we cannot do anything more with this user. Maybe we can. So can we use this user name? Jerry and password to log in via SSH. Let's do it. Jerry. Yes, and the password. However, permission denied. All right. So next, we can switch our. Session to another user, so we can log out. Logging as Tom, and the password is this one. Paste in here. Logging. So we can go to the posts. Hello world. Nothing. And we can go to media. Nothing. So now we can try to use the user name, user name Tom to log in to the target. As Tom. And the password. Password. Yeah, it works. So now we can list the files. And then we can cut out the flag. However, this is the restrict bash or restrict shell. So before we do anything more, we need to escape from this restrict shell. So how to do? We can list the USR. USR Bing. Yeah, we can run the VI and the less. So can we less? Flag three. We can. All right. Good. So we got the third flag. Next, we can. You know the vi. So how to escape from the restrict shell? We can get the help from the gt. No, this one. Gtf obims. As you can see here, we can use the the following ways to break out from restrict environments. By spawning an interactive system shell. Okay, let's do it. Let me show you how to do. We just use the vi, and we can set the shell bin bash. Set the shell. All right. Now we go to the shell. We need to change the pass variable environment variable. 
the Bing. Bing, original or existing past variable, and also we need to change the shell variable, right? So how to do? Yeah, we need to echo. Export Bing Shell All right, so I think now we can use other commands. Can we now? To do to another user. Command not found. Interesting. So, how can we do? Yeah, we need to change the pass variable. Okay, I think I have already figured out the issue what caused the problem i need to export the the shell type should add the bin bash rather than bin shell okay so now as you can see it works so what can we do next we can list the files yeah we can get the the third flag no problem and uh, now we can go to home Go to the Jerry. Here we got the black txt. Okay. Good to see that you've made it this far, but you're not home yet. The only flag that really counts. All right. Jit. So maybe we can... Can we... Use the password switch user to Jerry and the password. Now, as you can see, it works. Now we need to elevate a privilege. Yeah, we can run the JIT command without supplying the password of the root user. However, how to do? We can get the help from the 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 same website GTF Obins, and we can try. Of course, you can use this one, which doesn't work, and we can use this one. We just copy the command, and paste in here, and run. Sure, as you can see, we has already. Got the we have already got the root shell, and then we can get the final flag. So that's that's it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.